guys, it's Simone. Welcome back to my channel. So, as I said in my last video, I am going to be doing two, well that's four, two extra videos. And this is one of them. I'm going to be doing ten iPhone life hacks. Half of them are just going to be for the iPhone in general. And the other half are going to be specifically towards photography, whoever, photography on your iPhone, so like taking pictures. And sorry in advance if you hear a fan in the background, it's too hot. It's, mm, it's hot. I have to have it on. And look at my shirt. It says, I don't sweat, I sparkle. Yeah. So give this video a thumbs up. And also thank you so much for 40 subscribers. That's amazing. I love that. And keep watching and liking my last videos. And give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a hair care routine. And yeah, let's just jump right in. So the first life hack is save your data. Just go to settings. And then go to cellular. And scroll down. And you'll have all most likely if you haven't done this already you'll have all of these checked with green all you have to do is uncheck some of them you don't have to uncheck all of them but like you don't need settings I mean you don't need Wi-Fi I mean you don't need cellular daddy data on the settings or like on square ready like a lot of just random things have them checked and you just want to uncheck them so that you're not wasting your data on these things. The next iPhone hack is to turn off your location services. Location services lets people know where you are at all times on social media and on just your regular iMessages. And I know that's creepy. To turn that off, go to settings and go to privacy go to location services and just turn it off the next iPhone hack is to find a film with Siri now I got this off of the iPhone tips app if you have iOS site but um yes yeah, so it says ask Siri what's playing nearby you can watch trailers read reviews and even buy tickets for some theaters popcorn not included so all you have to do is ask Siri what's playing nearby and there you go the next app is also from the tips app it says remove web page clutter safari so can make articles easier to read if the page you're, not, you're on supports it tap the little lines to see just the text and photos without ads or distractions so i'm going to try this out so i just searched just random things on how do dogs sweat in this one has a three little lines so I'm gonna click it and boom it simplifies it so much and that's so much easier than reading all of that with all of the other stuff in the way so the next hack is on messages so if you're in a group conversation specifically then this is really helpful so just go to details and click do not disturb now this won't mute your entire phone, but it'll just mute that one specific conversation. Now we're moving on to the photography part of the video. So the first thing is how to see before and after pictures when you're editing them. Here's an example of pizza fries. I know they look delicious. So if I were going to add a filter and I want to see how it looked before all I have to do is hold it so that's the original and that's the one now the next hack is to add grids I know you can see my dirty floor but um if you don't know what grids are it's just the little lines see I'm a, there that's easier they're just little lines and these really help you take pictures because you can keep I heard um that if you line up the object with one of the corners, sorry that's unfocused, with one of the corners, then that's where the eye is drawn 
um, to the most. I don't know if that's shirt out, but the grids do help you take pictures and align stuff. To turn it on, just go to settings and then scroll down to photos and camera. And then scroll down and turn the grid on. The next hack is to adjust the brightness. All you have to do is tap the screen and you get the little sun and then you could just turn it more bright or less bright. And this is really helpful to make taking pictures easier so that you don't have to edit them later. The next one is how to do burst pictures. Now there are two ways to do this. If you don't know what a burst is, it's when you take like multiple pictures at one time. So all you for the first one, all you have to do is hold the shutter button and it should have this little thing at the bottom. The other way is to press the volume button. I don't think you can see it, but just press the up volume button and it'll do it. This is great if you want just if you're taking a picture of something and you only have a certain amount of time and you want to get the perfect one. So when you go here, you just click like I have my burst. And you click down here select and you select whichever one you want to keep. Now the last and final iPhone hack for photography and, and in general is to um, take pictures in Chrome. Now Chrome is a filter so this is original and Chrome is that one. I love Chrome. It is the best filter in the universe because it just makes everything brighter and more vibrant like Yes, especially when the sun, like when I'm in the car and the sun is just perfectly, I just use Chrome and it looks like I just paid a million dollars to take that picture. Not really, but yeah. But Chrome is awesome and I use it a lot. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it was really helpful. And, um, yeah, all of these life hacks I came up with myself like I experience with them or I use the tips um on the iPhone which of course you saw but yeah so I'll see you in my next video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like the same thing subscribe comment and follow me on my social media and I'll see you in my next video bye hey, no, no, no.